Hello everyone, I am here to give you a demo of Einstein Prediction Builder. Specifically, I will be showcasing a customer churn prediction use case. Our objective is to predict the likelihood of customer churn based on their historical data. In pursuit of this goal, we will leverage the custom Salesforce object that we created, name churn prediction. Now let's explore the Einstein Prediction Builder specifically for the churn use case that we have deployed. The name of our Einstein prediction builder is churn propensity analyzer and it falls under the category of yes no type. Talking about the object selection, we selected the custom Salesforce object that we prepared named churn prediction containing all the customer records. In the segment section, we won't segment any record here talking about the example records. The example set consists of records that serves as the learning material for our machine learning model. In Einstein Prediction Builder, yes no example records refer to a specific type of data that helps the predictive model to learn. These records consist of input features along with their corresponding outcomes which are binary in nature either yes or a no. By feeding these records into the Einstein Prediction Builder, the model learned the pattern and the relationship between the input fields and the corresponding outcomes. It recognized the factors that contribute to a yes or a no records. Talking about the conditions, here we created a custom logic to train the Einstein for the yes records, specified the fields with different values. Similarly, for the no case, we prepared a custom logic and provided it with a different specified values. Talking about records to predict, here we predict all the records that isn't example records. In the score field value, we created a custom field named churn likelihood values, which will contain the score predicted by the Einstein. Now let's talk about the scorecard. Here is the scorecard given by the Einstein. As we see here, the prediction quality is too high, is 100. Uh, the top predictors are the login frequency, average data consumption and average feedback rating. Now let's understand what is prediction quality. The prediction quality represent an estimate of accuracy before prediction is applied to live data. It calculate using the subset of data from our example set, which are given as input. However, the actual quality might be lower when the prediction is run on a live data. Now let's see this in a live action. Here we created a list view named customers likely to churn. And this is the field value, which containing the score values predicted by the Einstein. Now let's open a record. The value given by Einstein is 69.0 for this record. What are the top predictors here? The average feedback rating is 2. The average data consumption is 61. Now let's understand this in a deep way. Here we have a section of engagement matrix and communication and interaction. The login frequency of this customer is very low and the average data consumption of this customer is also very low. The support ticket created by this customer is 39 and the interaction with the support is 27, which is less as compared to the support ticket. And the average feedback rating given by this customer is 2. The Einstein predicted that the chances of this customer to be churned is very high. Now let's understand this in a different way. Here we have another record having the value 2 for the churn prediction. What are the top predictors here? The login frequency of this customer is 15. The average data consumption of this customer is 487. Now let's understand this again. In the engagement metric section, the login frequency of this customer is 15, which is very high. The average data consumption of this customer is 487, which is also very high. The support ticket 
created by this customer is six and interaction with the support team is also six. And the feedback rating given by this customer is three, which is considered as good. The Einstein predicted the chances of this customer to be churned is very less as compared to the previous record. So this is how Einstein prediction builder will work. Thank you.